For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir Technologies has emerged as one of the most talked about artificial intelligence stocks on Wall Street throughout this year. The company has managed to captivate investors' attention with its impressive rise in stock value, with shares soaring by more than 150% in 2024. This growth has been largely driven by several factors, including mounting enthusiasm around the potential of artificial intelligence, Palantir's increasingly strong financial results, and notably, the company's inclusion in the prestigious Standard & Poor's 500 Index. However, despite the stock's meteoric rise, Wall Street remains surprisingly bearish. While many might expect such a significant jump in share price to result in widespread optimism, the reality has been quite different. Out of the 23 analysts who actively follow Palantir, the median price target stands at $27 per share. When compared to the current share price of $43.50, this suggests a potential downside of 38%. Put simply, most analysts seem to believe that Palantir stock is overvalued and could could experience a notable decline in the near future. To understand why analysts are divided on Palantir, it's important to take a closer look at the company's business model and products. Palantir is primarily known for helping businesses process and interpret vast amounts of data. The company's two main platforms, Gotham and Foundry, offer users the ability to ingest large datasets, develop sophisticated machine learning models, and generate actionable insights through advanced analytical tools. These insights enable businesses to make more informed decisions based on data-driven conclusions. In addition to its established platforms, Palantir has recently launched its artificial intelligence platform, a cutting-edge solution designed to integrate Integrate large language models and generative artificial intelligence capabilities directly into both Gotham and Foundry. This innovation has been a key focus for the company as it looks to position itself at the forefront of the artificial intelligence revolution. Despite Palantir's efforts to expand its product offerings and stay ahead in the fast-evolving artificial intelligence market, analysts are not in complete agreement when it comes to the company's future prospects. Some analysts have given Palantir high praise for its leadership in the artificial intelligence and machine learning space. For example, in August of this year, Forrester Research recognized Palantir as a leader in artificial intelligence and machine learning platforms, highlighting its growing influence in the sector. The analysts from Forrester Research emphasized that Palantir has quietly emerged as one of the largest and most impactful players in the market, despite its somewhat under-the-radar reputation compared to some of its competitors. Additionally, Palantir received the highest possible ranking in a recent report from Dresner Advisory Services, which evaluated vendors in the artificial intelligence, data science, and machine learning software categories. This top ranking further underscores the company's strengths in providing robust software solutions that appeal to businesses looking to harness the power of artificial intelligence and advanced data analytics. However, not all analysts are as impressed. On the flip side, Gartner, one of the most influential research firms in the tech industry, ranked Palantir lower than more than a dozen other companies. Even more striking, Palantir was not even included in Gartner's most recent report on data science and machine learning platforms. This exclusion suggests that Palantir's performance in certain areas may not meet the high standards set by industry peers. Moreover, last year, RBC Capital Markets analyst Rishi Jaluria expressed skepticism about Palantir's software, stating that it does not appear to offer anything particularly unique when it comes to generative artificial intelligence. According to Jaluria, while Palantir's platform may be effective, it lacks the key differentiators that would set it apart in an increasingly competitive artificial intelligence landscape. In the second quarter of 2024, Palantir reported that its customer base had grown by 41%, while the average customer spent 14% more on the company's products and services. These increases contributed to a 27% rise in revenue, which reached $678 million dollars for the quarter. Even more impressively, non-GAAP earnings surged by 80% to 9 cents per diluted share, marking the company's fourth consecutive quarter of accelerating revenue growth. Palantir's chief executive officer, Alex Karp, attributed these positive financial results to the growing demand for the company's artificial intelligence platform. In a recent letter to shareholders, Karp offered an optimistic outlook for the future, noting that the demand for Palantir's software, particularly its ability to offer an effective enterprise platform, platform for artificial intelligence solutions remains strong and shows no signs of slowing down. Karp's comments reflect confidence in Palantir's ability to continue capitalizing on the rising demand for artificial intelligence tools, particularly among large institutions that need to leverage advanced technologies to improve operational efficiency and decision making. Looking ahead, Palantir is well positioned to benefit from the continued growth of the artificial intelligence and data analytics markets.
the International Data Corporation predicts that spending on artificial intelligence platforms will grow at a compound annual rate of 41% through 2028, presenting a significant opportunity for companies like Palantir. At the same time, Grandview Research estimates that the data analytics software market will grow by 27% annually through 2030. Given Palantir's strong track record and innovative product offerings, it is well equipped to take advantage of these opportunities. Nevertheless, analysts continue to disagree about the extent to which Palantir will be able to fully capitalize on these market trends. By August 6th, Palantir stock had already climbed by 55% since the beginning of the year, following the company's release of its second quarter financial results. Many investors believed this price appreciation was justified by the company's solid execution and the immense potential surrounding its artificial intelligence platform. However, shares have continued to rise beyond this point, even when there was little concrete news to explain the ongoing upward trend. A notable instance occurred in September when Palantir stock jumped by 14% in just just one day. This surge was triggered by the announcement that Palantir would be joining the Standard & Poor's 500 Index. While being included in the index was certainly a major milestone for the company, it did not fundamentally alter Palantir's business operations. Being added to the index will not result in increased revenue or profitability, so the 44% price appreciation that followed the announcement appears somewhat irrational from a fundamental perspective. Looking at the broader picture, Wall Street expects Palantir's adjusted earnings to increase by 22% over the next year. While this growth forecast is certainly positive, it is difficult to justify the company's current valuation, which stands at 137 times adjusted earnings. Palantir's price-to-earnings to growth ratio is currently at over 6, a level that many investors would consider excessive. For context, price-to-earnings to growth ratios below 1 are generally considered a bargain, while ratios between 1 and 2 are often viewed as fair. Palantir's ratio being above 6 suggests that the stock may be overpriced relative to its earnings potential. Given these considerations, there are two possible scenarios for Palantir's future. On one hand, the company could justify its current valuation by exceeding earnings expectations with faster-than-anticipated growth. If Palantir manages to continue delivering strong financial results and capitalizing on the growing demand for artificial intelligence solutions, the stock could continue to rise. On the other hand, if Palantir fails to meet expectations or if investor sentiment shifts, the stock could face a significant correction. In either case, the high level of uncertainty surrounding the stock makes it a risky investment that should be approached with caution for the time being. Overall, Palantir Technologies has been one of the standout stocks in 2024, with shares climbing by more than 150% due to excitement about artificial intelligence solid financial performance, and its inclusion in the Standard & Poor's 500. Strong financial results in the second quarter, driven by the demand for its artificial intelligence platform, have further fueled investor enthusiasm. However, concerns remain about the stock's high price-to-earnings-to-growth ratio and the possibility of a correction in the future. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.